Good, let's look at a little bit more difficult example than that. Which term in the sequence, and there they give the sequence that I had earlier, has the value of 3645? Now, we know this is a geomet uh, geometric sequence because I uh, did it before, but let's not assume and just do, do it once more, just see if we indeed agree. Okay, so we take 15 divided by 5 is 3, 45 divided by 15 is 3. There is a constant ratio, which means the first thing I actually do, well, I try to do that as the first thing, is to write down my general term formula. And now I simply substitute the values that I do know so far, um, either A or R or both of them. Okay, in this case I know both of them. The first term is 5, the second term is 3. Ach, not the second term, the constant ratio is 3 to the power of n minus 1. Remember the n minus 1 is only for the 3 as an exponent. Now they are asking us which term in the sequence will have the value and there it gives you the value. Therefore they are asking for the terms for this term's position. Where will this term's position be? Which number term will he be if I write down this entire progression? Now that means that this is the value that Tx has. Some position x. I don't know. So let's let the term position be x. Let the term 3, 6, 4, 5, his position be x. Or I'm going to make it p. I like the letter p. Okay, let it be p. You can choose anything. So tp is therefore 364. And that happens if I am at the pth position. In other words, if I were to substitute a p into this formula, whatever p now is, I'll get 365. So <laughs> not 365, 3,645. Okay, and now all I need to do is solve for p. So, here we go. Divide both sides with a 5. Okay, so remember my unknown is in the exponent. So the first thing we can do, the only thing we can do now is first get my power on his own. And therefore I divide with the 5 first of all. Okay, 5 goes into there 728 times. 29 times, sorry. So this side I've got 729 and on this side I've got 3 to the power of p minus 1. Okay, now what exponent can we give 3 to, have to get to 729? Now you can use logarithms, it's possible, or oh, definitely of course always you can use logarithms but it's not necessary. 3 to the power of 1 is 3, to the power of 2 is 9, to the power of 3 is 27, to the power of 3 is 81, to the power of 3 is 343, to the power, uh, not 3, to the power of 6, okay, is 729. So, 3, uh, 729 can be written as 3 to the power of 6, which is equal to 3p minus 1. Which means, <laughs> if the bases on the both sides are the same, surely the thing that's inside that base, the exponent for each of those must be the same. So p minus 1 must be equal to 6, so p must be equal to 7. 
I can hear you asking for more so here we go here's more okay in this example they give us the second term of a geometric uh, sequence which is negative 3 and the fifth term which is 24 and they ask us to find the first three terms of the geometric sequence now don't look into that finding the first three terms rather just find the general term and use it to find the first three terms or find the first term the constant ratio and then use that to calculate the first three terms so we have um, uh, let's just use the information that we have we have that the second term is equal to negative 3 in other words if I have a times r to the power 2 minus 1 which is 1 equal then I'll have 3 so in the second term I've multiplied my th my uh, first term with the constant ratio once and this is going to be my first equation okay they say the fifth term is equal to 24 so t5 is equal to 24 now that means I took my first term and multiplied it with a constant ratio for four times to get the fifth term and that answer is 24 let's call this the second equation now you'll see if I can take my second equation and I divide it with the first equation when we did arithmetic sequences and uh, we, s we had to solve simultaneous equations we subtracted this time we're dividing same with the um, ratio uh, with the constant identifier the one was subtracting the other one this one is dividing so if I take this second term and I divide it with the first term you'll notice that um, the a's divide into each other to give 1 and r to the power of 4 divided by r to the power of 1 gives me r to the power of 3 which must be equal to 24 divided by 3 is 8 okay so what multiplied by itself 3 times gives me 8 and that is 2 please take note if this was a square there would have been two answers it could have been n uh, so for example if it was r squared is equal to 4 then your constant ratio can be 2 or negative 2 but if I multiply something three times by itself I'll have the same sign again but if I multiply something two times by itself I will always get a positive okay therefore I will only have one answer in this case okay so uh, to continue I just need my first term so I'm just going to use this to calculate my first term I've just seen that R is equal to 2 so a times 2 will give me my f second term which was 3 so to get a on his own I must surely divide both sides with a 2 and I get that your first term is 3 over 2 so let's get so 3 over 2 is my first term my second term we already know was 3 okay but how did I get it I just multiply with 3 not 3 with the ratio 2 and then the next number will be 6 okay I'm sure this is enough examples for you to go and try a few on your own